When a sprayer is washed on the washing area, all water might have to be collected in some countries. It goes for the water with the residues of chemicals as well as the rainwater. All water must be disposed. New research is now going to make it possible so a sprayer in the future can be washed on a washing area and residues from plant protections products will be collected and degraded on the farm. All this water is evaporated. At Erhus University in Denmark, a washing area is now connected to a phytobac system for research on degradation of plant protection products and evaporation of the water. The principle is simple. The washing water is collected and taken to a well. From the well, the water is pumped to a buffer tank. The water, which contains residues of plant protection products, is little by little led over the substrate of soil and straw. A great deal of the water evaporates from the substrate and at the same time the chemicals in the washing water degrades the same way as in the field. This method is the same as when a plant protection product is tested for degradation in soil before it is approved for usage. At the bottom of the containers with substrate, drains make sure the water which run through the substrate is pumped back to the buffer tank. The substrate is a mixture of soil and 30% straw. This mixture is more efficient than normal soil because moisture is regulated in order to make it optimal for the microorganisms that degrade the chemicals. The straw also provides a good structure, air and energy for the microorganisms. A steering panel makes sure the system works optimal. Everything takes place in a closed system, so residues from plant protection products cannot escape to the environment. The phytobac system will therefore minimize the risk for point pollution with plant protection products. Rainwater falling on the washing area is led to separate tanks. From there, it is led back to the washing area by a dripping hosepipe. The water is then disposed by evaporation on the cement area. Bayer Crop Science stands behind the research in Fighterback.